Hello and welcome to this Jet Nexus tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm just going to be talking about our brand new feature which is a global server load balancer. So this feature is uh, containerized within Docker uh, which means it's a completely isolated module on the device um, and can be, be deployed um, completely separately and obviously being isolated it means it's a lot more secure as well uh, and you can spin this up and down at any time. So this is found um, if you go to the library tab within add-ons go to the add-on section this is where you'll see things like the global server load balancer and WAF uh, so it's got the external IP address and the external port set up there these are something I've previously configured so if you go to the add-on GUI so this is a completely separate interface um, as default the set settings are admin and JetNexus as per usual so within this home screen this is where you configure your domains so if you click on the domain that I've configured, you'll see that I've created three A records. Um, so you'll need to do this for each of your um, sites which you wish to go to. And then in the virtual services tab, you can see it's there and it tells you the server load balancing policy. So if I show you edit, this will show you uh, the different features we can do. So we can do this by fixed waiting um, and then using geolocation features um, so we can do city match, continent, country and proximity. Um, these are done by just uh, a lookup table of IP addresses. So if I click within to the virtual service there, you'll see that it's got the status connected um, and then the name of the service there. So this information is coming directly from the load balancer. So you'll see I've configured a service here on port 80. And then down below you can see I've configured the addresses of all of those. So that information on here of connected and online is being scraped directly from the load balancer. So we've also added a custom locations feature. Uh, so this custom location feature um, is designed for if you have private IP networks. Um, which obviously we cannot look look up on the uh, public record tables as these are internal. So uh, what we do with this is we actually assign um, a location via an IP. So so using longitude and latitude, we can actually assign it a location, um, and then by doing so, the GSLB can then look that up um, and send your your client to the the nearest available data center or as per the policy that you, you've you've set up. Uh, so that is everything. Um, there will be a separate tutorial which details the uh, exact setup of the Global Server Load Balancer. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please check out our website, the link is down below. There's also a link to our YouTube channel which uh, has all our tutorials for all the products. Uh, and down below also there is a link for the fully supported free trial um, which will allow you to de deploy a free trial for 14 days uh, on any of our available platforms.